New at 10, a local woman is hospitalized tonight with several broken bones following a hit and run. The victim was walking home when a car plowed right into her. And tonight, a police search for the driver. We're hearing from the victim's family. I would Susan reporter Susan Campbell joins us now from the mobile newsroom with reaction. Mike, Melissa O'Brien's family tells me the young woman is facing several surgeries and could be in the hospital for up to a year. Now they're asking for your help to find the driver who hit her and left her bleeding and broken in the middle of the road. Melissa O'Brien lies in a hospital bed, her body broken after a hit and run. She was knocked out off her feet. Her shoes were 10 feet away from her body. The victim's cousin tells us O'Brien is suffering from multiple severe injuries, including a broken neck, broken jaw, broken legs, broken ribs, and numerous fractures in her face. That's going to be a very, very long, long road for recovery for her. We've learned the hit and run happened on Mineral Spring Avenue in Pawtucket around 1.30 in the morning last Monday. According to a police report, an eyewitness who was leaving this church saw a newer model white four-door car hit O'Brien and take off heading east. She was pretty much just left for dead. They completely disregarded her life and I just can't even, I just, it's shocking. Now the victim's family is pleading for information about the driver who caused so much pain. I just want a little justice for her. I mean, it's not, I mean, what if she can never walk again? <laughs> what if she can't move her neck the right way? What if she, she can never breathe the way that she's supposed to breathe? She's only 29 years old. Again, police are looking for the driver of a white four-door sedan. An eyewitness says the car could have been a Toyota. If you have any information about this car, Pawtucket police want to hear from you. Reporting live in Pawtucket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.